I just have to... Nobody said this is going to be easy. That's true. I guess this is why we, uh, they pay us the big bucks here on YouTube. What? <laughs> 50 <laughs> 20 cents? bucks a video. 50 cents? <laughs> Dutch. Jules here. Dylan. We got a lot of boxes on the table, guys. Ooh. And a canister. Um, six. This is absurd. Ooh. But what we have here are six 18-year-old scotches. And we have given ourselves the task of determining what the best 18-year-old scotch is. Now, these all have some sherry influence. So at least they're going to be having that Similar in common. Realm. Um, they've got different levels of kind of smokiness. We've got some peat in some of these. We don't have peat in some of them. This should be really interesting. Yeah. Um, and I don't know how it's going to be tasting six things blind. I think this is insane, but I'm up for the challenge. I'm up for the challenge. Let's just do it. I think, I think the most important part of all this is that you can find these in most places in Great the point. United States and around the world. Uh, maybe this one's a little bit you know, difficult. I mean, some Maybe. stores won't have this, but usually the other ones, you've heard about it and you can find it in your town. So let's go through these one by one. We're gonna get them out of the box and show you the bottles and then we're gonna pour them. But let's let's talk through these real quick. So first one down here is Glen Morangy 18. This is a house favorite. I mean, we scored this thing really high when we reviewed it. It's a fantastic presentation. I'm gonna pass you the box. Yep. Um, it's a great looking bottle. I know this was one of those scotches that kind of got me into scotch. Um, fantastic product. I will say it's a little bit a delicate flavor. I don't know how it's going to do in a blind. It'll be, it'll be interesting to see. Uh, price point on it, usually around like, I'd say like 120 to 150. Mm. 100 to 150. You can get it in that range. Yeah, I got it below 100, I think. Yeah, that takes some doing. Next one up is the Macallan 18. Look at that beauty. Um, probably the most expensive one on the menu here. Probably about twice as much, right? What's our price point on this? Uh, so usually it goes for three hundred. Yeah. Uh, I was able to get this uh, for two seventy. Oh, two seventy. So pretty expensive. Very famous brand, obviously. The Macallan. Great looking bottle. I just want to note this is Iconic. the sherry. So this is not the right. double or triple. This is the the sherry oak cask. You can see right there it says sherry oak cask. Uh, next up, Glen Fittick. Now we did feature the Glen Fittick 12 year in our best 12 year old scotch video, which you can take a look at. We'll pop a, a link up. Uh, but this is the 18. Price point on this one, Dylan? Uh, I think it's supposed to be 100, but I, I do know that it, it, it goes for lower. Mm. I mean, I got this for eighty dollars. Mm, nice. So I think it's like eighty nine ninety to ninety nine dollars. Yeah, Great looking bottle. I love the Glen Fittick bottle. All right, the other Glen, we got three Glens. We got four Glens. Uh, the Glen Livet, 18. The Glen Livet, 12, is the winner, actually, of our 12-year yeah. scotch. So we'll see. Maybe the 18 can uh, can do just as well. What's the price point on this one? Uh, it's about $120. I think I got it for $115. Great looking bottle as well. All right, next up, uh, you can see our Glen Dronach drink through. If you want to see us drink all the Glen that we got our hands on. But this is the... Ooh, wow, I'm making a ton of noise here. This is the 18 year. Um, unfortunately, one night, Jules and I drank about half of this bottle. So uh, good thing we saved some for this blind. But uh, a fantastic product. Up until last year, actually, in 2019, or two years ago, I guess, uh, you were actually getting much older juice in these bottles. So if you find mm. any with the laser code older than 2020, Pick them up because I think like the 2019 laser code bottles are like 22 year old scotch. But this one in the 2020 bottling, it actually is 18 year, so we're not skewing at all with this one being on the list. Now that has a very heavy sherry component because we know that one is exclusively aged in, uh, in the sherry sure. casks. So finally, last but not least, we've got Highland Park 18, and this is the, uh, Viking. the Viking Pride. So this is after Viking. kind of the, uh, the redo of the lineup by Highland Park. Uh, fantastic looking bottle. We did feature this in our Highland Park drink through. 
you want to check that out as well. So, Ooh, boys. six whiskeys, all aged 18 years. Let's oh go quickly gosh. down. Let's check the proof on all these. Uh, we're, I think we're all of them around the 43 point. So the Glen 18, 43% alcohol. The McAllen 18, 43%. Glen Fittick. Glen Fittick. Uh, 43. 43. Glen Livet. Glen Livet. 43. Glen Dronach. Glen 46. Six. And I think the Vikings honor is also 43, right? Viking is 43. So, very close. The Glendronach has a little bit higher proof, so we'll see how that does in the blind. All right. We are now going to pour a lot of whiskey. This is the most we've ever done in a blind. And, uh, this I'll, is why I show up. I'll pour, and, uh, and Jules will label, so we'll have a double blind here. Ooh. And hopefully this will be hopefully doable. It's we have be really hard to blind six whiskeys. Hopefully whiskey we guys. have enough glasses. <laughs> All right. We'll be back in a flash. So miraculously, we now have six whiskeys in front of us. Um, the color, there's a lot of color difference. So try to get that out of your head. I hid the bottles after I poured um, because I don't want us to and use the mix color. Up, so. And we did mix them up. I mean, yeah. Uh, but anyway, let's kind of go through. We got a blue, an orange, a yellow, a red, a green, and a clear one. We're now going to taste them. And we're going to just, uh, the main thing is determine which one you think is the best. And then we'll also, of course, we'll guess. Yes. <laughs> we can't help but we, guess. We have to because we have It's part big, of the fun. But you know, the other thing is the biggest challenge here is that we don't have like an hour to do this. No. We got to do this like fast. So it's it's like, um, you know. You can't like, linger. Yeah. It's like, uh, you know, it's like the chess ma chess matches that are like, you chess know. Chess matches. <laughs> speed chess? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is or, not speed chess. You mean like Rub All right, guys. Rubik's Cube let's get, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's get tasting. <laughs> Wrong analogies. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm going to get confused. <laughs> I have to be careful here. All right. That's a lot of whiskey to taste. Hmm. <laughs> Um, I, I don't know, man. For some reason, this made total sense to me. Wow. Nice. I, I could get the distinctions. Um, how about you guys? Nope. It was a challenge. It's definitely a challenge. It was. Um, you I, must have had a lot of these before the filming because, man, I was trying to use my remember. memory to yeah. try to match it. Well, and... I think they kind of clustered. So let's talk about that first. I feel like um, there were two sherry bombs. Okay. Which were the, uh, the orange and the yellow. Uh -huh. Definitely. Yeah. There were there was one that tasted different than everything, which I thought was the green. Oh. Ooh. And that was like the one with some peat. Yeah. Smoke. <laughs> yeah. And then the yeah. other three were kind of the more mild ones. Yeah. Um, so that all made sense to me, and I that helped me kind of figure out which one I thought was which one. Okay. Mm -hmm. But as far as picking a favorite, I had a hard time. I, I, I had a favorite. Favorite was easy. Favorite was easy. It came down to two for me, but I ultimately picked one. Yeah. I I, I, I agree. How about you? Yeah, I came. It came down to two, but then I did pick one. I, I will say they're all good. Oh yeah. I mean, this is not like oh, there's bad. That's why you didn't pick it. Yeah. For me, everything was fantastic, but a favorite emerged. Okay, do you guys want to break it down? You guys want to talk about the aroma first? Yes, please. All right, I'll kick it off here. Um, I mean, it was really easy to tell the heavy sherry ones, and mm -hmm. and again, that was why it was so easy for me to pick out like. Basically, the Glendronach and the McAllen. I knew those were the sherry bombs. Mm. Those were definitely going to be the orange and the yellow, no question for me. Um, but I'll just go down the line. The blue, um, I thought, was very balanced on the nose. Um, the orange was almost too sweet on the <laughs> nose. I liked the sweetness of the yellow a little bit better, mm -hmm. as far as the two sherry bomb ones. The red, very balanced, a little bit lighter than the blue on the nose for me. The green definitely had that a, a nice, well balanced, but you did have that smoke influence yeah. peak come through, and then the clear one I just thought was beautiful. I mean, I wrote down beautiful. I loved the nose on the clear one. Yeah, I did like the clear one as well. No, a, a very similar um, in terms of uh, what stood out. Like the green, the peat stood out immediately yeah. to me. Um, like these three. The, you know, you could tell yes. yeah. had something different going on. Yeah. Although I would say for the orange, at first I actually wrote nothing. 
Like I couldn't get anything really? out of the Roma. Oh, that was until too after sweet. a while I got the sweet, you know. So I was okay. able to get a lot of the sherry and stuff. But um, yes, the, st- the standouts though were the blue and green from the Roma for me. Oh, okay. um, and oh, and the clear. So those three. Yeah. Um, but the green stood out the most. So it stands out because it has that, that one thing that, that none of the other one. ones have. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Don't know about you. Yeah, for the Roma, I thought the uh, clear and the red had the best like flowery aroma um i thought the ones on the left here the blue the orange and the yellow had more of that ripe fruit Mm. uh, aroma and then the green had the peat right yeah okay so we all basically smelled the same thing let's talk palette um (laughs) very much aligned so um yeah the blue i thought the thing that stood out actually was the finish the fruit really hit me on the finish of the blue. It was really mm-hmm. nice. It was a very uh, pleasant flavor. The uh, the orange was a fig bomb. The yellow was kind of a more well-rounded, rich fruit to it that I, I actually preferred of the two uh, sherry bomb ones. So Did I'd... you get a peat from the yellow? No. No? No, not really. I actually got it from the orange. The orange, no, I didn't get that either. Mm. Uh, so the red, I thought, was um, very mild. It was kind of the most mild of them on the palate for me. Mm. The green, I definitely got that that PD smoky kick. And then the the clear one, I just I wrote down perfect. I mean, I just I loved the flavor in the mouth. I loved the finish. It was a little bit of everything. It was just beautiful. Right. Yeah, on the uh, for the palate, I, I ended up choosing the top two was the green actually and the clear uh for me um cuz I actually really enjoyed um, the finish on both of those. So even uh, despite like the the peat, the heavy peat hit, it actually was really enjoyable. So yeah, yeah. yeah my favorite was um, actually the green and the clear. Hmm. Um, and and the reason yeah. I thought the clear had the balance. Yeah. Yes, this had the balance, which the other ones were good, but you could tell. Uh, the green had that. You know, I like the peat cutting through sometimes. Yeah. And that gave it a nice... It was refreshing. It was Amongst refreshing. all of these, it really right. was refreshing. Yeah. yeah. And I gotta say, I mean, the red was sweet. Um, this one, uh, yellow, was a little bit more unctuous. And the orange had a little bit of that... I think this one represented, sh- like, the average sherry a little bit. The orange? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I... I uh, let's talk favorites now. Um, I actually, I picked... I came down to two. For me, it came down to the clear and the yellow because I felt like these were two different worlds. We had the sh- these two were just heavy, heavy sherry influence, the orange and the and the yellow. Between them, I prefer the yellow. Of the other ones, I, I mean, I like Pete, but um, in this lineup, I it I didn't prefer it. Okay. Mm. And the clear to me was the one that of the other ones it stood out, just perfectly balanced. And ultimately, between these two, if I'm going to reach for one, I'm going to reach for the clear. Yeah, mm. that was my favorite. For me, it was the green all the way. I mean, from the with peat. the yeah, yeah, the peat. I mean, because it stood out the most out of all of these, um, not just on the aroma, but on the palette as well. So that's why it just was a clear standout. Like, okay, I'm enjoying this. This is, I think, a great representation of the 18 year. So we'll see what yeah. it is. So I mean, first of all, what a privilege, yeah. right? I They're mean, all great. <laughs> having 18 years, it's hard. Uh, was you hard. know, I don't care what it is. It was a very enjoyable experience. Ultimately, I chose balance over everything else. And the clear one just stood. Wow, ah, we have out. A, we have, have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. Out. We have a winner. Yeah, clear oh. Is good. oh man. Well, now do you guys want to venture some guesses as to what's what? Let's go dig the hole. <laughs> Let's dig the hole. I don't know how we're gonna get all this on the screen. We'll try. Just cover our faces. If, if we can't, we won't. But okay. uh, I'll go down the line what I think everything was. Um, okay. Blue, uh, so for me, blue and red, I don't know which one was which, but I think one was Glenlivet, one was Glenfiddich. Okay. Mm. I think the blue, I'm going to go on the record to say Glenlivet. Okay. Um, now, between the orange and the yellow, one was McAllen, one was Glendronach. Mm-hmm. I have no idea which one's which, but I'm, I'll guess the orange is McAllen, yellow is Glendronach, then the red would be the Glenfiddich, the green I think is definitely Highland Park, and then I think the clear is the Glenmorangie. Wait, what, what? Wow. Okay. Different? Yeah, it's it's different. Okay, let's hear yours. Yeah, I have no idea. I mean, other than for green, I thought that that was. Why don't you go down the line? But I will go down the line. Uh, Blue, I thought was the Glendronach. Uh, Orange, I thought was the Macallan. Oh, so we Uh, agree on that. Okay. Okay, and then yellow, I thought was the Glenlivet. Red, I thought was the Glenfiddich. Green, I mentioned the Highland, and clear is the Glenmorangie. 
Okay, so we, we, we're going to film these. Okay, all right. What's your doing? This is so fun. I mean, it's amazing. We know this was the winner. That was the winner. Um, well, at least these two. All right, so blue, I thought Glenn Fittick. Okay. Orange, I thought Glenn Dronach. Okay. The yellow, Glenn Morangy. Yeah. Red, I Wait, got Glenn, Glenn Livett. Oh. Red, Glenn Livett. Mm -hmm. Green, Highland Park. And clear, oh, McCollin. Highland Park for green. Really? Yeah. Oh. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that, dude. I don't know. You think that the Glenn Morangy has that much of a sherry influence? I, I just feel like Glenn, this one, the um, uh, the one that I picked, yellow. The yellow. Taste wait, it again, I thought you dude. said clear this was your favorite. Wait, wait, wait. What happened here? This has way too much sherry to be Glenn Morangy. For me, I don't know. Hey, I could be completely wrong. Yeah, I mean, I, I understand what you're saying. I mean, it's a little dark. It, it, it could be Glendronach. I put that first. I All thought right. it was Glendronach That's first. what I think it is, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I first put Glendronach, but then, I don't know. I, it's hard. This is really, really hard, but yeah. are you guys ready to see what's what? Yes. Okay. <laughs> of course. Uh, this is the best part. Here we go. Um, so let's figure out the winner, since we have a winner. Yeah. Clear. What's the clear? What's the clear? What is clear? I want to know what I, what I need to buy. So clear is the one with an X? Yes. Okay. I want to know what I need so to buy. Column one. Column one. Clear. Our definitive winner. Glenn Livet. Whoa! <laughs> wow. Again? Wow. It won again! Wow. Wow. Well, we know where these guys go. What the? Wow. <laughs> wow. Wait, what did you say it was? I thought it was uh, Glenn Morangy. Yeah, Glenn Morangy from. What did you think it was? I thought it was McCullen. Mm. Glenn Livett, wow. the definitive winner. Definitive. Uh, oh man, definitive. I everything I think. Okay, about... well, wow. so it's a runner up. Well, okay. green. So green runner yeah. up. Green it's gotta be Highland was Park. Highland Park. I yeah, think that Barbie. was the most obvious. Yeah, Barbie. An excellent bottle. I'll grab that one too. Glenn Livett, are you guys kidding me? What? Are you guys kidding me? So let's see, let's see how bad we were on everything else. So let's go down the line. Let's start with the blue. The blue was Glenn Fittick, which I think you yeah. got. I got it. And I thought that was either Glenn Fittick or Glenn Livett. I couldn't tell. I got that. Um, the orange was, sorry, is it orange next? Yeah, yeah orange um, was the McAllen. So I nice. was right on that. Me too. Oh. Nice. I, I picked Glendrona. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, the uh, yellow was the Glendrona, so I did get that yeah. one right as well. Not me. The red was the Glenmorangy. Wow. Interesting. Wow. Very mild. Wow. Yeah. Um, then the green Highland Park and the clear the Glen Livet. I am. I'm floored. Completely Ooh. floored. Glen Livet again. I can't believe how good Glen Livet is, guys. Two Glenn times Livet in a row? What's again. going on? You know, it's not even about the sweetness. That wasn't what did it. You guys said balance. Yeah. You said it balance. It was so well balanced. It was yeah. balanced. Oh, <laughs> wow. Well, I, I mean, this is where I, you can really understand I, what that term means. Yeah. Because when you start doing blinds, oh, there's yeah. a lot of things that Everything are going on. Everything goes into, And yeah. every time I drank the clear one, it was like, wow, this is like well-rounded. It's, you know, it's like the a, one I wanted to sip on the most. Exactly. And it wasn't wow. like overly sweet, which wow. a lot of people or um, some people. And the cheapest one, right? <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's not. Uh, the Glenfiddich is probably the cheapest. Okay. Yeah, yeah right. this one's 115, 20 bucks. Okay, okay. Um, but wow. definitely not the 300 price point of the McAllen. Yeah. No. And not the uh, the Glendronach is probably closer to like 150. The Highland Park is up there, right? About yeah. the same, 120 ish. 129. Um, what? No, 159, I think. I, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, Glenn Livett killing it. Highland Glenn Park, Livett, obviously. Folks. I would say that if you like the the peat influence, you're going right. to definitely go for this. Right. Uh, if you want something that's maybe a little more well-rounded, the Glenn Livett. If you wanted to go between the two Sherry influence ones, and we know now which one's which, um, I did pick the Glenn Dronach um, on the palette. What did you guys say? Between, the, between just the orange and the yellow, which one did you prefer? Oh, between the orange and yellow, I preferred the yellow. You did? Okay. How are you doing? Yeah, I, I picked a yellow. Okay. Yeah. So, wow, McAllen definitely... Low end. I mean, for the price point, again, twice as much as the Glendrona. Right. So, all right, guys. Hopefully, <laughs> some of that made sense to you. Um, so much of the process. It's, it's a lot I mean, this take, is amazing. It's a lot to take in. Wow. Um, I'm, I still don't know how to react to what we picked. I'm very impressed with the Glendrona. I'm impressed that there was a clear winner. Yeah. 
I, I thought, mean, it would have been great I if thought it would have been 1-1-1, you know. But, uh, hey. There's no I way. There's no way. I don't have the same ballot. I, I, I would not have predicted this. Like, what did, did you it? think you were going to pick? Um, I thought that was Glenn Morangy. Because when I tasted them all, I was like, wow, that's so well-rounded. And that's kind of what I think of when I think no, of No, no, but, but before you tasted it, like, what? I, I, if you saw this on yeah, the yeah. show, what I did you, you think saying. was going to I was thinking I was going to end up with the Glenn Dronach. Okay. Because it's rich. Right. What about you? I actually thought I was going to get the Macallan. Just because it's the most expensive. And it's like, I remember that flavor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought I thought I would be able to pick out Glenn Livet like that. Because it was always overly sweet mm-hmm. and i thought like oh i'm gonna just get that sugar and therefore i'm gonna be able to I- identify so well it balanced. and that's why i thought that that was the case but it turns out and i thought i really thought this was the mccallan because i was like wow i guess this is not why i paid for the money and then i'm like oh wow okay no, never mind not sherry it's yeah. it's so good ah oh, wow well guys uh, you know blind tastings can be extremely humbling um, it's a oh, different. It's, it's a different thing, though. Drinking these things side yeah. by side, not knowing which it's one's a which. Different it's, beast. You know, this isn't how you usually drink whiskey. So you, it's a, it's a different perspective on it. But right, it's right. a very interesting one to try. We encourage you guys to try our blind tastings at home. They're a lot of fun. We have a lot more eighteen, though. Some other ones. Yeah, like we have Alexander Murray and all that. And kind the of Johnny stuff. Walker. We Johnny Walker. Yeah. That. So I mean, maybe this. You know, six is is it's a, a challenge. Lot. Definitely a challenge. Um, I mean, it's I, almost I like, encourage dude, you to this try one it. automatically gets entered into the other one yeah. just to see. And, yeah, and I, I would say, you know, <laughs> like, next time I think we should just add to this. <laughs> wow. Make it harder. Crazy yeah. Town. Jules, take us out of here. Woo, give us a thumbs up if you like this episode. Comment below what you guys think of the insanity of this blind. Subscribe for more videos from Curiosity Public. Consider joining our Curiosity Private Membership Program on YouTube. Check out our uh, podcast. We do have one on all the major podcast platforms out there. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. Stay curious. This can't be, man. But I like how we all thought it was something different. Yeah. Completely mm. surprised. Floored. Glenn Livet. Fun, guys. What? Unbelievable. What is, what is the deal, man? Unbelievable. This is crazy. This is crazy. Next, we're going to do a blind tasting of tequila.